Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss different search algorithms in artificial intelligence. Almost all uh, artificial intelligence problems are solved with the help of uh, one or the other search techniques. Hence, search technique forms a core component of many intelligent processes. Search is a systematic approach to find a path from a root state to the goal state. There are many traditional search algorithm exist. With the help of these uh, algorithms, we can solve many of the artificial intelligence applications. But there are some applications uh, which needs a sophisticated uh, search algorithms. Hence, uh, we use uh, uh, heuristic uh, functions to design such algorithms. Before we understand the different search algorithms, First, we will try to understand the requirements to be satisfied by a search algorithm. There are mainly two requirements and search algorithm should satisfy. The first one is it should cause a motion. That is whenever you apply an algorithm, we should be able to move from one state to another state. The second one is uh, the algorithm should be a systematic. That is, uh, it should have a step by step approach so that we can move from the source state to the goal state in this case. Now coming back to the different type of uh, search algorithms in artificial intelligence. The first one is uh, uninformed search also called as a blind search. Second one is called as informed search also called as heuristic search algorithm. First we will try to understand uh, uninformed search algorithm. In uninformed search algorithm given a state if you have multiple number of paths it will not uh, select a path which is uh, having a least cost or you can say that the optimal path. It will uh, uh, it will go to uh, each and every path and then it will try to get the goal state over here. For example, in this case, let us say that right now we are present in this uh, state A. There are two paths are there. Either we can go to this particular B and then we can go to this particular C to reach this particular goal state G here. So in uninformed search technique, it doesn't apply any uh, logic or something like that. It will uh, choose one of this particular thing and then it will try to go to this particular goal state over here. So if, you, if it goes through this particular path, let us say that A to B, B to D, D to C and C to G, it will be a lengthiest path over here. But if it has gone to this particular side, that is A to C and C to G, it would be the least cost path in this particular case. But it will not apply any logic here and then uh, and it will just follow up one of this particular path and then it will try to reach this particular goal state over here. So that is the reason it is called as uninformed search technique. Now coming back to the second one and that is called as informed search or it's also called as heuristic search. So whenever you are present in a particular state and uh, there are multiple paths are there from that particular state, it will uh, use some heuristic function and then based on that particular thing, it will make a decision. Should I choose the first path or should I choose the second path? So that is what uh, the main thing happens in this uh, informed search technique. So just to understand, uh, let us assume that uh, right now we are present in this particular state. Yes, there are two paths are there. Either we can choose this particular path to go to this particular A or uh, towards this particular path we can select so that we can reach this particular D. For this one we have the cost 3 and for this one we have cost 4. Now, uh, there are multiple informed search algorithms are there. Uh, just to uh, explain this particular informed search technique, I will consider A star algorithm. So what a star algorithm does is it will take this particular cost plus it will consider the heuristic value. This one is called as a heuristic value that is 10.1. What is this 10.1 is? So it is a probable distance to reach from A to goal state here. Now if you add these two things that is 3 plus 10.1 uh, it will become 13.1. So that is the heuristic value of this particular path. Similarly we need to calculate this heuristic value of this particular path that is 4 plus 9 it will become uh, 13 in this case. So if I choose this particular path, it will be 13. If I choose this one, it will become 13.1. So at this particular point of time, this will be the better option over here. Now it will go to this particular D. Again, it will try to find a suitable path so that it can reach this particular goal state with a minimal cost over here. So this is how the informed search algorithm works. Uh, I have discussed this particular algorithm in detail in another uh, video. We just go through that particular video to understand the completely how a star search algorithm works. Now uh, these particular uh, algorithms that is informed and uninformed search algorithms were again categorized into multiple number of uh, algorithms. Uninformed search techniques were divided into three groups mainly. One is called as uh, depth first search algorithm. 
uh, if the implementation is done with the help of uh, LIFO that is uh, stack. Uh, second one is a breadth first search algorithm if the implementation is done with the help of Q or FIFO. If priority queue is used such kind of algorithm is called as a cost first search algorithm in this case. Again this uh, depth first search algorithm is divided into two things uh, based on the depth limit. Uh, whenever you set the depth for example depth is equal to 2 or something like that uh, it will become a depth limit search over here again uh, if you go on increasing that particular depth from 2 to 3 3 to 4 or something like that it will become iterative deepening depth for search algorithm over here so these are some of the different algorithms which comes under this particular uninformed search coming back to informed search algorithm uh, they were uh, categorized into mainly three groups first one is generate and test second one is hill climbing third one is uh, divided again into uh, different groups over here best first search algorithm problem reduction algorithm constant satisfaction algorithm means and analysis algorithm the best first search algorithm is again categorized into a star search algorithm and problem reduction is categorized into something called as a star or uh, and or star search algorithm over here all these particular algorithms I have discussed in detail and I have solved numerical examples for each of these particular algorithms. Link for those videos is given in the description below. Do follow those particular videos to understand the algorithms as well as the numerical part of that particular algorithm. So in this video I have discussed what is search uh, in artificial intelligence. What are the different type of uh, search algorithms exist in artificial intelligence. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.